This is Akashwani Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Sandeepan Chakravarti. The 8th India Water Week 2024 will begin in New Delhi today. President Draupadi Murmu will inaugurate the event at Bharat Mandapam. During the four-day event, around 4,000 delegates, including 200 foreign delegates from 40 countries, will participate. More than 100 exhibitors and startups will showcase their ideas in the water sector. The 8th India Water Week event will serve as a global platform to elicit ideas and opinions from global level decision makers, researchers, experts, innovators and stakeholders in the field of water resources. The theme of this event is Partnership and Cooperation for Inclusive Water Development and Management. The Manipur government lifted ban on internet and mobile data services from certain parts of the state since yesterday afternoon. Schools and colleges will be open from today. The government had announced internet and mobile data services had been banned from the 10th of this month in three valid districts after widespread student protests turned violent. Schools and colleges remained closed from the 7th of this month when a rocket bomb had blasted in Moirang town claiming a civilian life. A government order yesterday said law and order situation in Manipur has improved. The opposition voice of the People's Party, VPP, has blamed the presence of several toll gates on the state and national highways, among other issues, for the rise in prices of essential commodities in Meghalaya. VPP President and Legislator Ardent Miller Basiamoit wrote to Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma, urging him to regulate and monitor the functioning of toll gates and checkpoints, which are contributing significantly to the increased cost of goods. The party also urged the government to address the transportation challenges caused by Umiyam Bridge being unsuitable for heavy loaded vehicles. As Meghalaya is dependent on supplies from outside, the government must urgently explore and create shorter alternative routes, the VPP underscored. A multi crore scam has surfaced in Meghalaya, though the full scale of the fraud is yet to be ascertained. Over 700 individuals have fallen victim to fraudulent investment schemes through deceptive apps. So far, Meghalaya police have managed to recover 2.42 crore rupees from the enormous sums defrauded. This scam operated via the DataMe or DAAI app has left hundreds of citizens hard-earned money at risk. This was stated by Superintendent of Police Sadar and Cyber Wing Head Shillong Pankaj Kumar Rasgania. Mizoram has been badly hit after acute scarcity of fuel. Essential items could not reach the state after hundreds of trucks got stranded due to dilapidated conditions of National Highway Number 366, the lifeline of the state. The Mizoram Oil Tanker Driver Association and Petroleum Entrepreneurs and Transporters Union of Mizoram have decided that no tankers will ply the highway from 17th September onwards. The two organizations stated that the National Highway 36, the National Highway Number, National Highway number 306 and 6 are in a very bad shape, which makes it dangerous for tankers to fly on these. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called the current era as the golden period for India. He said the country is witnessing its Amrit Kal and aiming to make India a developed nation in the next 25 years. The Prime Minister was addressing a gathering after inaugurating various developmental projects worth over 8,000 crore rupees in Ahmedabad yesterday. He also virtually flagged of the country's first Namo Bharat rapid rail between Ahmedabad and Bhuj and six other Bande Bharat trains. He said the newly launched Namo Bharat rapid rail will provide convenient intercity rail transport to middle class families. The theme for Swachhata Hi Seva 2024, Swabhav Swachhata Sanskar Swachhata seeks to reignite the spirit of collective action and citizen participation in cleanliness efforts across India underpinned by three key pillars emphasizing a whole of society approach. The occupants of AIR staff quarters, Pokse, Shillong came together collectively and actively participated in the cleaning drive yesterday. Vishwakarma Jayanti is being celebrated today with people paying obeisance to the deity of engineering and architecture. Vishwakarma Puja is being held at workshops, garages, temples and community puja pandals. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from Akashwani Shalong. Have a nice day.